Now, characteristic equation is essentially used for solving the characteristic pro uh, root problem. So, in find, how do you find out these lambdas? You find them out by using the characteristic equations. So, consider singularity condition uh, in more detail. So, we, that's what we need to consider. So, consider the singularity condition. Now, lambda i minus a into x equals to 0 is the equation which gives me from singularity condition that determinant of lambda i minus a equals to 0. That's what we need to figure out. That's what we need to figure out. So, that would essentially mean that lambda minus a11 minus a12 minus a13 so on and so forth till minus a1n this will be minus a21 this will be lambda minus a22 and so on and so forth till minus a2n moving down here this will be minus a n1 so on and so forth till lambda minus a n n this is an n cross n system okay and this determinant has to be zero this determinant has to be zero now this equation is essentially a polynomial in lambda okay so what happens when i'm taking the determinant when i'm taking the determinant what happens is that if I am trying to expand it through the first row, what will happen? I will just get over with these, this row and this column and lambda minus 111 1 gets multiplied to the determinant of the remaining uh, rows and columns, right? So, that's how you find out the determinant. Now, this equation, when you just open it up, expand it, this equation is a polynomial in lambda. And that is because formula of determinant is a sum containing the n factorial terms, each of which is a product of n elements, one element from each column of A. That's what will happen here. That's what will happen here. We will see in detail uh, in, with an example also. So, lambda minus A11 gets multiplied to the determinant of, of this remaining portion. Okay. This portion and then minus, uh, uh, minus of minus A12 getting multiplied with when, when you just take this column and this row of the remaining columns and rows, the determinant that they create. Okay, and so on and so forth. So, that's how you find out your determinant. Now, determinant will be a polynomial. It will be a fundamental polynomial. Now, determinant lambda i minus a will equal to, will equal to lambda to the power n plus b n minus 1 to the, uh, into lambda to the power n minus 1 v n minus 2 coefficient into lambda to the power n minus 2 and so on and so forth till uh, the constant term okay this will be your fundamental polynomial now it is obvious why is this obvious because each row of determinant lambda i minus a contributes one and only one power of lambda as the determinant is expanded now now, what, when do you get lambda n? Lambda n comes only when the permutation is such that column included for each row is the same one, uh, you know, with each term containing lambda. So, what essentially, how do you get lambda n? Lambda n you will get from this first value. Lambda n, when you're expanding and you have outside also a lambda term, and inside a determinant then you will get lambda to the power n because lambda will get multiplied n number of times okay and other permutations will have lower power lesser and lesser powers of lambda and at the end you will only have uh, the product of diagonal terms which do not contain lambda and that will be your constant term that will be your constant term in fact, you know, this constant term B naught equals to the determinant of minus A. 
it, it is equal to the determinant of minus a. Let me just show that to you by giving you an, a 2 by 2 example. So determinant of this will be what? It will be lambda minus a11 minus a12 minus a21 lambda minus a22. Okay. Now this will imply that lambda minus a11 into lambda minus a22 minus a12 into a21 which implies that lambda square minus lambda a11 plus a22 plus you will have a11 a22 minus a12 into a21 so what do we what do we have we have a polynomial in lambda square so you have b um, in fact here it is just once one to let it let b1 so minus uh, plus b1 lambda plus b0 where b0 is this term can you see something peculiar here this is nothing but the determinant of the original matrix negative in negative so this is nothing but determinant of minus a so the constant term actually comes out to be as the determinant of minus a minus a which is the negative of the original matrix